the Revenant TVL Delta Squonk mod. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben Vick here, back with another review, a very special review today for a very cool piece of kit. Today we are looking at the Revenant X TVL Delta Squonk mod, um, a collaboration affair between Vaporesso, who have made this, who do the Omniboard inside as well, uh, TVL, who are better known for their mech mods, and then uh, Revenant, who made the Cartel 160 mod, and uh, a couple of other good regulated mods as well. Uh, so a collaboration affair, very unique mod this, very, very unique. What what we've got going on here is a 21700 mod, regulated mod, 100 watt mod, that is a squonker that works via pumping. It's a pump action squonker. Um, and you press this big button here to squonk it. Not only that, not only is it a pumper, but it has a very unique refilling, very easy refilling system. Basically, you take this bottle and uh, you push up against here and you just glug your juice in really fast, really clean, really simple. So 100 watt variable wattage mod, 21700, you can use 18650 if you want as well. Uh, 100 watt mod, variable wattage, Pump action squonking, 6.5 mil capacity in this tank. I'm going to show it you all down low. Um, very, very interesting, very, very cool. Also comes with this RDA on top. The RDA can take mesh or normal coils. Uh, single coil affair and uh, very clever the way it distributes the juice when uh, bottom feeding. Adjustable airflow, goon tips, all that good stuff. And again, I'm going to show you that down low. Let's go down though, have a really good look and... Uh, then we'll come back up top for pros and cons on this very unique, very interesting kit. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Revenant TVL Delta Squonk mod and uh, Reload RDA. Here it is. This is what it looks like. I'll give you a nice look around it. Very cool. Revenant on one side, TVL on the other. Uh, you've got your RDA on top. We'll go over that in a sec. Um, but yes, so it's very interesting looking. Uh, it's got this rainbow finish. There are other colours available. You've got your squonk button here. You've got your fire button there. You've then got a left and right and a menu button as well. You've got your micro USB. Delta written at the bottom. And on this side you've got your uh, squonk window. So you can see the level of your juice here and here. Um, not super easy to see, but it's easy enough to see uh, what's going on. In terms of the RDA, we'll have a quick look at that. Goon tip, adjustable airflow here, like that, and that's double-sided. There we go. If we lift it up, here's what we've got going on. So you've got uh, big, big clamps, screw on each side, taking this huge clamp. So you can use mesh on here or a normal coil. Uh, it comes with normal coils uh, with it as well in the pack. And uh, it comes with a normal 510 pin if you want to use this on a non-squonking device as well. Um, so it's quite far apart, the, the, the clamps, and you've, re you've really got to nail them down uh, if, you, uh, if you're using a normal coil. Uh, this deck system is almost better suited to mesh, to be honest. Um, but uh, it's very clever how it works. Your squonk comes in through that hole there, but also it comes out in the posts as well. Um, it's pretty interesting, um, but we're not focusing too much on the RDA on this one. Uh, we're more interested in the mod. So the way this works is very, very simple. You press this button and uh, it squonks. And unlike a lot of pumpers, the juice goes back in when you let go. Um, it can actually suck it back in. A lot of pumpers can't do that. Um, so that's really cool that it behaves more like a squonker than a pumper. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can press that. You can double press it if you want more to come out. You can hold it down and a bit more comes out as well. Um, so, yeah, very effective. Very, very effective uh, way of squonking. Uh, the RDA that comes with is 24.5mm. So this fits on 24 best. 24 look best. 25 can just about sneak on there as well. And uh, yeah, very interesting shape and style. So how do you fill this up? Well, the way you fill this up is uh, very, very simple indeed. You get the bottle that comes with it and uh, you literally take the lid off that and you push and squeeze. 
push and squeeze and it fills it up and it's six and a half mil capacity and it's as easy as that to refill when you refill it um, as you just saw it's best to keep the RDA on and have the cotton dry uh, and the bit that comes out of this because of the pressure then just goes into the RDA all happy days if you do it without the Atyon it's a tiny bit messier because a tiny bit can come out of here because the pressure that it's trying to build up for the pump action uh, but that is how that works you've got a battery door here 21 700s or 18650 it comes with the tube so you can adjust uh, 2700s as well and uh, this is the tank this is the tank now I've got to be very careful here to open this the right way around but um, effectively that is the tank that holds the juice now you can't fill this by just pouring into there don't try and do that uh, do use the uh, push to fill thing underneath because you need to create that pressure in this tank uh, and uh, that is how you do it only it's only slightly messy on shot here because I've been messing around with this device uh, getting ready for testing and for reviewing and that is the only reason that it uh, is a bit messy in there uh, but you literally just push that back in and uh, you close the door and uh, you are done honestly in normal use this is a completely mess free device let's just see if we can suck that juice that's come out of the top back down there we go okay so let's put the RDA back on that'll solve a lot of the problems there we go back on there happy days so you've got your board here as well five clicks on five clicks off it's the Omni 4 board uh, one two three and you are in your menu but there isn't a lot going on here you can change you know your uh, brightness and puff count and time and date and all that um, but uh, there isn't actually su too much going on in there uh, this is basically a straight wattage device there's no TC there's no bypass there's no power curves or anything like that um, so it's got you know that one two three on here and it is locked so that you can't fire it one, two three and uh, you are back on but other than that it's a very straightforward device in that respect it's all about the pump action really this mod uh, not a con for me that it only has variable wattage so there we go that is the TVL Revenant down low really really cool really clever pump action um, very very nice indeed uh, let's go back up top and uh, pros and cons Okay guys, that was the TVL Revenant Delta Squonk mod down low. Really interesting. I'm sure you'll agree this innovation in this thing. Uh, and innovation is always good and always uh, exciting and interesting. Uh, they've really actually innovated and improved things on this. Um, we've just recently had the top side, a top filling squonker hit the market. This one, you could argue, is even easier to refill than the top top side there's no one screwing or anything you literally just go bong squeeze done uh, it's so so simple and so so clean in terms of the refilling method I haven't had any leakage issues at all from the bottom of this the way it does it is flawless it the way it actually refills the mod is flawless the way it pumps is flawless as well and unlike other pumpers I've received um, and used it actually can and does squonk the juice back down. It pulls the juice back down when you release on here, um, which is a major advantage over previous pumpers I have used. So that is really, really cool. A little button to squonk rather than sticking your finger right in that hole, in the, right in the bottle and getting it all chowed up. This is uh, it's very slick. It's very clean. It's very neat. It's very elegant. Uh, and I think it will get better and better and better. Um, in terms of the way it squonks when you push it, I've noticed that it seems to pump more out the full of the tank. That's the only thing I would say about that. And obviously, when you're out and about with this, remember you're going to need this bottle on you to refill it. Uh, or a very similar bottle. A bottle with, again, a very slender nib is what you need, basically. Which, they are widely available. Um, so, yeah, that is what you're going to need to refill it. You're going to need the specific bottle or a very similar bottle to refill it. Um, but other than that, absolutely flawless. The other things to, rem to remember about the squonk functionality on this, um, the actual bottle inside is plastic, so your tank crackers I would avoid using in here. 6.5 mil capacity, so not the biggest, but it's so easy to refill. Is that a big deal? I don't think so. Um, 
and uh, very easy to clean as well. A lot of these squonkers uh, that are coming out of all these unique ways of refilling or re unique ways of working, they're not always that easy to clean. This is incredibly easy to clean. Pull it out and it's basically just a cup that just needs washing out. So super easy to wash as well. We've got the Omni board in here, um, the Omni 4 board, I should say, a, a Vaporesso board. As you know, if you've been vaping for a while, Vaporesso boards are superb. Um, the one thing of note on here is what it doesn't have. It doesn't have TC, it doesn't have TCR, it doesn't have power curve, anything like that. It doesn't have any of those features. Uh, not, a not a deal breaker for me, not a big issue for me, but it may be for you, so I'll point it out. Beyond that though, power output is on point, battery life is excellent, the screen is very cool, very crisp, uh, and I like everything about the, the way this board performs, looks, works, and all that. Um, quick mention for the looks of this as well, there are other colours available. This gunmetal and rainbow finish isn't really my style, but... Uh, there are other color schemes available so do check those out in terms of price it's a little bit higher than you than you might be uh, used to uh, with a vaporessa made product but think of all the innovation and design work that has gone into this mod uh, before getting upset about the price its price is around 120 pounds i believe in the uk it looks to be like 135 dollars stateside so uh, that seems to be the going rate of this um so that's that i think the mod is excellent i, I love the innovation on the mod um, I love the way it performs, love the way it works, I think it's so clever. I think if this is the starting point for a series of mods like this, I think it's really, really exciting. It could be argued, it could easily be argued this is more convenient than the top side. It really could, it really could. Um, so uh, this is very exciting, very interesting. I would love to see next a mod in this shape, in this size, two batteries. Trying to work out a two battery way of doing this without being super big. Um, with all this functionality in it, I think would be absolutely epic. So I'd love to see them do that. Quick t quick chat about the uh, the RDA. It's the TVL Reload RDA. It's um, mesh or traditional coil RDA. It's it's pretty good. It's okay. It's it's pretty good. It's got some very nice features. I love the knurling on the adjustable airflow. Uh, I love the way the goon tips are fitting on here. The one thing I don't like on here is the post system on here. So the, the clamps aren't spring loaded and they're a little bit fiddly. You've really got to bear down on them uh, if you're doing an, a normal coil, not a mesh. Uh, to get them to clamp in and they're a little bit wide apart as well um, this thing seems to work better for mounting mesh coils than normal coils but they don't include any mesh with it so that's an interesting one <clears throat> the actual base of the deck also takes up a lot of space which means there's less room for cotton which i think is a shame as well and because of the width of this 24 and a half mil wide the actual distance from the airflow to the set coil, because it's a single coil, is quite wide, so you can get quite a lot of throat hit uh, on this as well. Uh, I wish there was a way that the coil could be closer to the airflow on here. Um, but it's a solid RDA. You, you, if you get it as a kit with this RDA, the RDA is perfectly usable and serviceable and you'll enjoy it. But don't forget you can put any bottom feeding RDA on here and have a great time. I certainly will be putting my own RDA on here after this review and really enjoying using it. Um, this is a cool kit. This is a very exciting mod. Um, really, really impressed with this uh, functionality. Really impressed with the way it works. I actually think it's pretty cool. It's pretty comfy in the hand. Um, it's just super convenient to do that. You can actually hold it down to get more juice to come out and you can actually just double pump it to get more to come out as well. But it pumps absolutely fine, it works absolutely fine. Excellent, an excellent, excellent kit. Really, really cool, I love it, I think it's so cool. Very, very clever. Let me know what you think in the comments. It'd be interesting to see what you think in those comments about this. I think it's, I think it's innovation on point, but let me know what you think. I've been Vemvic, like, subscribe if you're not ready. I'll see you on the next review, cheers.